Hi everybody. About a month ago I added some new features to pixeldatabase.net and I was busy making an animated video so I didn't have time to show anybody the new features so it's like a tree falling in the woods. No one knows about them. But I like them so I thought I would show them to you and you can tell me if you like them. First off I'm going to go ahead and show you the new background. You're kind of looking at it now although this is a PowerPoint slide. But I'm gonna, I'll show you the website in just a second. So the first thing we're going to do is go into the scatter function, which I'll show you what scatter is. So I'm going to now exit PowerPoint as gracefully as I can. And let me minimize it. Didn't think that was going to work. Okay, I was running. All right, so now I'm going to go over to my website, which is pixeldatabase.net. And then I am going to open up a file to show you a demo of the scatter. So the this is a UFO I was creating for a prop. I actually took all the lights out of the UFO for a reason, but if you notice this UFO, everything looks kind of, if, if it was flying through space, there's no stars. So the, we're just going to add some stars to the background really easily with this new feature. So I'm just going to say update, set color, and I'll just say yellow because it's easier to type than lemon chiffon. And next I'm going to say scatter and then the next parameter is scatter percentage and in this case I don't want very many stars I just want a few so that's about 0.03 percent and I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply now you may not be able to see it very easily on the video I'm gonna turn my magnifier on because my vision's not very good but you'll notice my scatter put the stars right through the UFO which we don't want so I'm gonna go ahead and let me close magnifier down <clears throat> excuse me and I'll go ahead and undo that query and I'm gonna go ahead and this time say where and on the next line excuse me next line total is less than 10 so that way the scatter will <clears throat> only put these stars on the black part okay so now that scatter it's really simple there's a lot of other uses I'll show you one more that I kind of thought was kind of neat let me open up a let's see let me go to my graphics folder and there's a lighting okay so let's say you have just an all white uh, color here I'm gonna just say update set color black where and I'm gonna scatter a little bit more not too much but I want to put a little bit of black lines all through it and I'm gonna just take the wear clause off there. okay now that just added a little bit if it was like either a sidewalk or a wall or something where you wanted it to just to not be just plain Jane you know all one color okay and now the next thing I'm gonna do is that'll be the end of scatter so I want you to close your eyes and I'm gonna go back over to PowerPoint and I'll tell you when to open your eyes okay open your eyes okay that was scatter now we're gonna go into normalize there now that was graceful wasn't it all right so now that we have normalized set, I'm going to first show you why we're creating this, why this normalized feature is useful. I know it's useful in animation, and it's probably useful in some other things with graphics, to, you know, but the biggest one is that I've found is useful for is, I've got this little poker rail here, the, the leather rail that goes around this kind of green felt. I'm going to go ahead and just, you notice the, uh, the little base color here is, uh, it's, it all looks like it's pretty a solid color but I'm going to show you the original image I used and why I created this scatter I mean the normalized feature to begin with okay that's a fine leather brown it's just this stock photo I have that's just a leather texture and you'll notice the seam here of where the photo applies because one side of the image is not exactly the same as the other so to fix that I'm going to go over to pixeldatabase.net let me minimize iClone and minimize PowerPoint. Okay, let me go back to my temp folder. Get a drink real fast. Okay, excuse me. All right. So now, this is the fine leather brown. So if I turn the color picker on, you'll notice it's, it's pretty consistent. And a lot of the colors, the red is pretty consistent. But there's enough color variation, like where the little creases or seam lines or whatever that is, that it, that's, you know, and one side will end up being a little darker, you know, than the other. And that's how that, it's not very smooth. So to fix the normalize, it's, here's the full syntax. It's just update, then the next line is normalize, if I could type. 
the first parameter is the minimum value. So like for red, I'm going to say 105. The next parameter is the maximum value, so I'll just say 110. And then the next parameter is the step, or the increment. And I'll explain that in just a second. And the final parameter is red. And what that does is, the step is going to be, let's say a pixel color is 120. It's going to subtract, if it's greater than the maximum value, it's going to subtract by the increment until it gets below this. It doesn't mean it's, it could end up being way below this. If you put in 50 as your step, you know, 120 is going to go down to 70. But it's going to stop when it gets below 110. And like 105 here, any values of red that have less than 105, it's going to add the step until it gets up to this minimum value. So if that step was 10, you know, it would step be further. But with 1, it's just it's going to be closer to your edges the lower the step. So that's just, and I'll go ahead and just run it just to show you. So this is kind of a large image, so it takes a second. Now you'll notice after running it, the image is a little more, uh, I guess, normalized, or it's just not, you know, a lot of the detail is lost, but that's okay. You know, that's kind of what we're going for with this. And then next for green, the values I'm going to use, and I just happen to know these values because I was playing around earlier with my image that's already done, that I, I did this once before. And then the final parameter is the color. I did try to do all on my computer, just couldn't. The graphics library I used just kept blowing up every time. You know, I wrote the graphics library, so there's no one to complain but me. Now at this point, I could probably already use it. That's very uh, similar color all the way through. But I'll go ahead and just blue. I think blue, I mean, I'll go ahead and do blue just to go ahead and finish this off. And I'll just say 35 to 40 for blue. So that's about the values it probably already is. Okay, so that is a normalized color. Now it's not exactly, it's not like it's one solid color. There's still a little bit of, you know, color variation. Not Most of it's all pretty, you know, the exact color, but there's a little, there's enough that it's, you know, the human eye is not going to notice any seams like it was before, but it's also not just one plain boring color. You can, it still kind of looks like leather, or at least I think it does in the context of that. So I'll just download this and show you. I've already saved this before. I've got the real one saved somewhere else, so I'll just overwrite that. Now let me go back over to iClone, and I'm going to redo this using the normalized color, and you'll notice it fills in that seam. And one more use for this, that if you ever had like a, I guess a pixelated image, if you found a pixel, you know, like a low resolution image from Google Images or something, it's an, that's another thing that I've used this for, just to kind of make the background a consistent color. Or, you know, some blacks are like, you'll see some, uh, I guess they call it, I forget the, the term, but like sometimes you'll have a black image has a lot of little lines in it for that. So anyway, that's my short little demo for how to do, let me get back over to PowerPoint. Uh, okay, come on, computer. We'll just minimize everything and there. Okay, close your eyes again. There. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. This was kind of a really quick video. I just wanted to throw these, show these features. I'm going to try to update the help. And I already tried before the video started, but it was easier to do a 10-minute video than to explain that it takes three separate help articles to explain normalize because of the red, green, and blue. I need to put a you know, a little summary some way to my little help system to, I guess, make normalize its own category. But anyway, if you have any feature requests or if you like this program or if you like the new background, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.